Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got some mad librarian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Ayy, ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, doggy bone, man? Unk got y'all back, man. We, we, Hey, look, for all my mutt heads, man, head over to utnights.com, bro, and use code FORM for 6% off all your mutt coin needs, man. It's simple. Go ahead over there, click on how many coins you want, bro, 200 coins for $11. Hit that pay now, slide over there and use code FORM, and get your muck coins on, doggy bone. Stop being broke out here, man, and build the God squad that you deserve. The God squad Jesus wants you to have, man. Again, utnights.com for all of your muck coin needs, man. Use code form and help me get this little Skrilla, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Black Rain was right, bro. Now, I hate Madden 23. I've come to this conclusion today. Just by the games I play, I'll be uploading these games over a couple of days. I hate Madden 23. I don't think it's trash. It's a difference. I'll explain in the video. But I hate Madden 23. Comment down below if you hate it, if you love it, if it's me, and what you hate and love about it. I go into detail about like what I hate about this game. Now, Madden does not suit my thinker man style of play. It's it's very watered down. Understand it and I accept it. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean I can't hate it. So uh EA boy fluff you man fluff you Oh shit I thought I ended it on that I didn't. I ain't clicked the button. Hey, subscribe and hit the like button, bro. I'm trying to get to uh, 40 million subs, man. Let's get this video to 16,000 likes, man. Let's get to it. Yeah, what's happening, Doggy Ball, man? I'm back in the community with another banger, man. And just so y'all know, I hate next gen. No, no, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me switch that. Because I hate current gen. I hate Madden 23. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm, I wouldn't dare take my ass over the current gen. I hate that. But this this game especially was me realizing how much I hate Madden 23. And y'all know, um, I get games chances. Madden 20, I wasn't out there. I wasn't out there saying it was trash. I wasn't saying 21 current was trash. I wasn't saying 21 next gen was trash. I wasn't saying 22 was trash. I take what Madden gives me, and I make the best out of it, bro. I'm not somebody who's going to like, I hate this game, bro. I hate this game, bro. And and and, and, and if you want to uh, if, if you wanna just hear old Unk out, that's one of the reasons how, many, how easy it is to break a tackle, and there's none of this in this game. And y'all, I love the chess game of Madden. That is my favorite part of playing this game, is the chess of Madden. Make an adjustment here. Okay, hold on, I'm not gonna flat. I'm gonna three wreck this guy to go here. I'm gonna play match on this side, and then I'm a man up inside quarter. Like, I love that about Madden. It don't exist in this game. It don't exist in this game, bro. Pre-Man, Sin 5, Sin 6, Sin 7, Sin 42, make a nigga die. That's all this game is, bro. And you'll you'll see it in this video, bro. It ain't no adjustianos going on from dog. Zero. Now, let me be clear on something. 
I understand why some people may like the game. I got no problem with people liking the game. I'm not going to go on a rant about the game when I play it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make the best out of this, and I'm going to just do I'm gonna just do what I do, make good content. I'm still going to play comp. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be out here with the jokes. <laughs> I'm going to be out here with all that, doggy. I just personally, like right now, how I feel in my heart, in my spirit, I hate this game. And, 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 and it, it took a lot for me to get to that point, bro. And, like, and for me, it's going to hit different because, as y'all can see from the channel, I'm still, I'm whooping, I'm still whooping pros. I, 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 I take a whooping, but I'm still whooping pros. I'm still winning games. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about because, oh, you're not winning. Oh, oh yeah, I'm winning still. I just, I just, I don't, I hate that there's no chess involved, bro. I hate that the game is so simple. You know what I'm saying? That's my biggest thing. I hate the game is so simple. And you'll see in this game, bro, like, the one thing that makes me so angry, not even angry, because I don't even get mad at mad no more. The one thing that makes me hate the game, bro, is the fact that the O-line is so stupid, bro. That it has zero recognition. You'll see, I, like, as this game, as you can see, he's sending five, right? And he's going to hover in the gap, which means he's sending six. So what that means for me is I either have to learn uh, get proper slide protection or I just have to block six. But watch as this video goes on. So right here is fourth and five. I don't care, bro. I'm not finna kick no uh, field goal, doggy bone. I just I drops back in the pocket. I throws a dot. Nothing. Nothing. Let's go back here and look. My running back does not pick up, and I can say on that, I can hold that L right there. Because one thing that the Sheds have conditioned me to do a little bit more than I did last year is drop back like probably two or three yards deeper than I ever would. So that that turnover, I don't have an issue with that because I can say that's that's my fault. I dropped back. But we all know, it, it regardless if I drop back or not, I'll still get that under pressure throw. And then when you get into these type of games, you play supreme runners – and that makes the game boring. Now, look, I got no problem with people running a ball. I've said that before. Play how you play. I'm just saying for myself, strictly as a content creator. Like, I don't play Madden as a uh, as a consumer anymore, bro. You know what I'm saying? I play it as a content creator, and my job is to try to create the best type of content for y'all. And it is very hard to do this year as he throws a book and we don't get to pick. It's very hard to do this year. Because, one, I'm either playing tight or a bunch every single game, and every single game is press man defense. There's no opportunity for me to show y'all anything different. That was why I hate uh, current GM so much. You know what I'm saying? That's why I hated current so much, because it was so repetitive. Now, uh, granted, this is the first year of Madden 23, so I, I'm, it's not going to be this way the next year. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying right now, I hate the state of the game. I hate this game. So right here, I know, dog, um, I, I really have no fear of this offense at all. Because it's not going to do any damage. No real damage. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to send pressure. I'm going to make adjustments. I'm bringing him down in the box to help him get that run. Especially the stretch run. That way I can have the purples on this uh, edge to set the edge and contain the run and force him to run back inside. And then against anything inside, we're going to get an immediate gap shoot out of wide nine. So right here, I bring him in the box, but I'm going to use a mo rig because I know he's in a passing situation. I know where his reads are. I know where he's looking to go, and he throws me the ball. Dummy. I stayed it inside, got the pick, easy money, turnover. So coming back out, my daughter's sick, so I got to go take care of her. But uh, coming back out, I'm just going to go to the C route. You know what I'm saying? I'm a motion C route. This is another thing. As you see, he loops around, right? Now, he's sending five with the hover. I'm blocking six. But the running back is slow as hell this year, bro. 
He doesn't recognize pressure. He doesn't under he doesn't understand his blocking assignments or nothing. So I'm shading to the right, but they still double team. I'm shading right, like slide protection. I'm sliding right. That way, if I slide right, uh, Chandler's going to come off the opposite edge, but my running back will pick him up. You know what I'm saying? But even with me slide, as you can see, I'm IDing. I'm sliding right. I'm IDing the edge guy. Like, the running back just has zero understanding of blitz pickup. You know what I'm saying? I can't be mad at 58. You know what I'm saying? Because he's he's getting his responsibility. The, but the ID to mic resets a lot. I don't know if a lot of y'all noticed that. And it's like damn near impossible for blitz pickup. Right here, right here again, I'm like, all right, I'm going to just keep the C route right there and I'm going to go for the one play touchdown because he's in press position. We stack him up and then we just hit him over top. He has short and medium route KOs, which everybody is running. Oh, I don't know if y'all on mud or not. Everybody and their mama. Press man, since six, seven, medium route KOs. And I'm of the, like, let me know if y'all agree. I'm of the belief. I'm of the belief that I don't think short or sh any KO should activate on a possession catch. You know what I'm saying? Like. If, if I get that pass off and I have that separation, as I'm going down, you jumping on my back and activating the KO should not make me get back up and drop the ball. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I try to rack it, if I try to do anything else, that should trigger it. Right there, trying to throw it on the run. Huge no-no this year. Huge no-no this year, which I'm okay with. Like that, I would like to be able to make that throw because that's a Mike vick S type throw. But I understand why they limited because how much it was abused last year. So right here, you see, I'm blocking. Th I'm blocking seven. I throw this early touch, uh, and a KO knocks that out. A walk in touchdown. I put now. I I can't remember. I think I possession called it. No, I did rack that. But Mike Vick didn't lead it toward the pylon. He put it a little bit more upfield. You know what I'm saying? So he activated on that one. But that's all it is. Like, as you can see from the dude I'm playing, he's not making no adjustments. There's no need to make an adjustment. Right there again, throw it, boom. KO activates after two steps and knocks it out. Technically, that's a fumble. So right here, I'm like, I'm going to just take my three, bro, because, like, these KO drops and, and, a, and, a, and a running back being slow as hell, bro, it, it's just hell out here to move the rock. All right, so coming back out, he comes out in eye form close. I'm like, all right, another running formation, and then he goes to the pass. He checks it down, makes one guy miss, of course runs me the hell over because you're going to break that first tackle 90% of the time. He comes back out. I'm like, all right, I'm going to flat, and then, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to just play the defense. I see he tries to go for the one play tug, and he actually had it. But the pressure gets there. We get a good share because I wasn't in position. So we come back out. I'm like, second and 10, fluff that flat route. You're going to have to just uh, check down, bro. That's how you're going to beat me, and then we get the deflection. Coming out, third and 10, I'm like, all right, so I don't think his first read is going to be to flats on the third and 10. I think he's going to look to push the ball upfield, which he does, and then checks that looks to check down, but the pressure gets there instead, and we force the punt. You know what I'm saying? Good defense, good adjustment. Now, I'm going to say something like maybe maybe KO should activate on possessions, but I don't think they should be as effective. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't activate it as much, but I, I know that would be a hard thing probably to put into the game. So right here again, we actually pick up that time and we get an under pressure. I want you all to look at that, though. They gave me an under pressure for doing what I'm supposed to. I climb the pocket to give myself room, and look, they give me an inaccurate, bro. That's not like that's not an under pressure. It's not. If you're gonna penalize me for stepping up in the pocket, that means you're gonna penalize me for stepping back. You penalize me for throwing on a run. That means like you basically you you shitting on us for passing the ball. All right, so coming back out, 
I, I'm like, yo, like the KOs whooping my ass. I'm not getting proper protection. As you see, my ID to mic, I ID, I slide to his side. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, let me cook up and let me, and let me pass protect correctly. And I do so, but it was just good defense, so I roll out with Mike Vick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell y'all what allowed me to start ending up being able to pick up the blitz. And it's the dumbest shit ever, y'all. All right, guys. So y'all see, I'm going to tell y'all once I come back on, off, on offense how I was able to pick that up. And it's stupid, bro. So right here, I'm just on some just don't let them score. You know what I'm saying? Send a lot of pressure. That's stupid how often running backs drop passes out the flats. But, you know what I'm saying? He gets cheated. And I'm just, I'm just on some just don't give up the big play. You know what I'm saying? I play against so much tight that I have I, I feel like I got really, really good tight defense. You can have that shit to the flats, that's not gonna get you a first I mean in field goal range. Like he can have everything to the flats, not gonna get him in field goal range. But the Moss game this year is so crazy, bro. You gotta live in constant fear that a nigga finna slam dunked it on you, man. That man finna had slam dunked it on you. Just like that. But we got a late breakup. And that's probably and that's uh going he's gonna take one more shot at the end zone. Probably we're gonna end up breaking that off. I know coming out in this I form close, he's gonna look for that bomb, that PA leak play. So I'm not even gonna uh put any flats. I'm just sending the crib at him. And then you do what you do. We get pressure off that edge, and we go into the half three to zero. Alright, so so back out. This is what I start having to do when he hovered. So, I, my running back is already blocked. I had to re-block this nigga, bro. Like, I would come out and curl flat. He's already blocked. I would have to block him again, then slide right, then ID to force him to block correctly. And then you don't have a lot of time on the play clock, so it kind of puts you in a bad position. So what happens is I end up cut blocking on that side, and then I roll out right. You know what I'm saying? And everybody who knows me know I don't scramble with the quarterback. I don't. I'm a pocket passer. You know what I'm saying? I'm 2-7 with Mike Vick. All five incompletions are um, under pressure and four knockouts. You know what I'm saying? I ain't through no book of Reno's or I made no bad reads. It's just press man knockouts. And then I got a under pressure when I stepped up in the pot. So coming back out, I'm going to re-block him. This time I came into play action. For y'all who don't know, play action does give you better blocking. You know what I'm saying? I cancel the play action for the running back. I ID on that side. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to motion. Oh, I did not motion. I, 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 I go ahead and chop him again. I have Shockey, but we all know you can't make that throw. If you have a, a, a dead eye... You can make that throw, but I don't have a dead eye, so that's going to be a pick if I throw that, and I'm not risking the pick right now. So, again, I, I, I try to go through my blitz protection, but the game kind of goes dumb. You know how it do, bro. When you try to make adjustments, it'll freeze if you're making them too quickly. It does that, or it doesn't allow you to pick a play, which was in the game last year, and I honestly felt they probably – I thought they would have addressed it. So right here, we're going to go to the deep post right here because deep post 50-50, it killed man last year. The skinny post does not really uh, destroy man this year, though. Right here, we go to, I, I know I can't throw that curl route. So I roll out again, and I just take off with Vic. I can do that every time. You know what I'm saying? By the way, I'm uh, slide protected and chop blocking Chancellor. But the thing that makes me uncomfortable is I don't want to leave an edge threat one-on-one -on -one with a running back. So coming back out, I set up the uh, slide protection again, you know what I'm saying, just to be able to chop block and buy myself some time if I need to get out. And I end up taking a delay of game because that play clock goes through like that. And when you got to re – I got to re-block the running back, which is extra time for making my adjustments. Because against man, bro, you kind of got to do a lot, bro, to, 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 to cook some shit up. For real, for real. So right here, we ID. And I'm hoping that Mixon just buys a little a nigga some time. He does a good job. We step up in the pocket. The streak picks uh the uh the guy, uh Woolen, defending a uh, skinny post. And we get a tug. 
So now we just got to keep playing defense, bro. And, and, and I'm still going to hate this game. And this game is far from over. All right, so coming back out, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get this nigga a taste of his own Madon. I mean, medicine. I'm going to just play I'm going to play press man. And that shit does not work for me, bro. Like, like I'm still in cover three. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, after after about a couple streaks, I'm like, I'm going to do a little prayer man of my own. So I run over here to the scene, see how I ball, what? I don't know if that was a high ball to Randy, but he just throwing slots, uh, seam streaks. You know what I'm saying? I had uh, Holland over there the first time. Holland didn't make a play on it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Old Unk going to do it himself. So right here, he throws the underneath, which was he breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. Was probably going to end up breaking that tackle battle. And I'm really hoping they address broken tackles because them boys go crazy. Now, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Eventually, my mind could change on the game, but who knows? So, right here, I'm like, watch this shit. Like, boy, hey, I got this nigga, Rod Wilson, got cooked. My press man gets smacked. And I understand when you play press man from that far, when they come down and he breaks, you're going to get dusted. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, they don't be getting dusted on me. You know what I'm saying? It, it could just be the wide and easy. But still, I don't like it. Give, give me the trash everybody else get, man. I want the exact trash everybody else get. So, right here again, this nigga throws a streak right at press man coverage. McAllister, I don't like McAllister. I don't like him, man. I might be getting rid of him. He he animates, but he goes for a motherfucking horsey back ride on Randy Moss, and he scores a tug. Now, let's be clear on something. I hate Madden 23. I don't feel like it's trash. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. And the reason is Madden 23 does not cater to my style of play. That don't mean the game trash. It just don't fit how I play. I'm a thinker man. This ain't a thinker man Madden. So for me, I hate it. But it does not automatically classify it as trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to have to work harder than some to make sure I win my dubs. Because I'm stupid. And I'm and I'm still out here running uh, uh, zone defense. I'm still running trio. When in all actuality, I should not be running these things. You know what I'm saying? In all actuality, to make the game as simple as possible for myself, I should be switching to something else, that a, a, a more condensed type formation. But, you know what I'm saying? Unk like being off meta, man. I be doing my own thing. Shut your mouth. So right here, we going to go right back to the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got route combos that work. These KOs just be beating the shit out of us, man. Right there again. KO activate, knock the ball. I'm three of ten. Six knockouts, bro. Six knockouts. And like, oh, they just like everybody's running those short and uh medium KOs. You know what I'm saying? And they activate all over the field besides like 30 yards up. So right here, I'm like, all right, I'ma just cook up a I'ma cook up a little dot of Roni Tony real quick. And I'm going to pick this up on fourth. We pick up the block. And this is where people say I should uh, have classic. I mean, uh, free form. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try it out again. But, like, you just don't. That's a Madden 22 animation. You're not getting that animation this year. Standing 10 yards up under the ball like Dog was. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe I can high ball that. You know what I'm saying? And, and maybe that gets it over top. But I genuinely was like, yo, how the fluff dog get that animation for real? So, again, right here, Rod Wilson gets cooked again with that 90-plus man defense, bro. And that's what I'm saying about, like, me personally. Like, bot defense don't – ain't my thing, man. Like, I got – I have gameplays coming where I run the bot defense and I'm, and I'm bagging niggas crazy. But then I'm like, I don't really want to upload it, though, because it's boring. There's nothing to explain about what I'm doing and what I'm running. Zero to explain, my boy. I ain't got shit to talk about, man. 
I, I, are we talking about the state of the country? Like, doggy, I have things like I have videos running about defenses. But I don't want to upload them, man, because I don't have nothing to talk about when I'm on the defensive side of the ball. Like, zero, bro. Zero. And I'm bagging crazy. I'm bagging crazy. It just, it just, it gets boring for me, bro. But again, I don't play from the same perspective as y'all play. A lot of y'all may play strictly to win games. Y'all ain't worried about none of that other stuff. This was trash. Which is understandable to me you know what i'm saying but if a lot of y'all start doing the youtube or streaming in general the game will get bored as hell when you record for four or five hours and you have running into the same thing each and every time that you got hopped into a game you know what i'm saying it, 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 it'll wear on you so right here i'm just like yo let me just kill the clock score a touchdown and get up out of here because because Doggy Bone ain't been able to move the rock on me. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have him in the bag. His tray came to the rescue. But that ain't going to that ain't going that ain't going to hold up, bro. I'm a bag that. Like you he, he didn't do a couple bookaroni Tonys and he ain't had to pay for it right there. That was just a bad cutback on my end. So right here I'm like, "Yo, I'm gonna try to hit dog eventually with with probably like a little read option, bro." But at the same time, I'm like, yo, I can't give up on my run. And I'm not giving up on the C route either, bro. The C route cooking. The uh the post route was cooking. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a shit ton of time though. That's the only thing. So right here we go to the read option and we get out of bounds, bro. Utilizing that 90 speed, Mikey Elvick. All right, so coming back out 41 seconds, I'm like, yo, I'm going to run the ball here. But I, I have it like, all right, so this is the thing about being stubborn, bro. It'll cost you game. Because in my mind, bro, I could have been switched up my route combos. But I'm dead ass set on winning this game on the C route. I'm going to lose on throwing a C route or a post on Woolen. Because this nigga has broke up everything as, as we get breaking up on the right side, bro. We just can't hold on to the ball. But I'm I'm dead ass set. I'm winning this game or losing this game on a route that go like this. You know what I'm saying? Crip route, man. I'm going to run and get me a dub on a crip route, man. Because, like, I'm, I'm just disgusted. I'm, I'm as disgusted with the game. So right here. Fluffy, we going back to the C route, man. We going back to the C route. We throw that boy. We Y catch it, and we score. Now, the Y catch does not work all the time because you rarely get that animation. You get a jump in the air animation, which easily is a knockout. But we get we get one we don't, and we able to punch it in, and now we just got to play 26 seconds of defense. But that's what we do best. So coming here with kickoffs being so OP, I'm just going to scum kick him right to his fullback. And then if the fullback running back, so be it. So he moves out the way to let it bounce into the end zone. But guess what? It don't bounce into the end zone, Dougie Bone. <laughs> Shut your mouth, nigga. You suck at the game. And that's how we end up winning, man. As you can see, I clip it. And I'm like, yo, I was expecting Dougie to quit. But he didn't. So we come out. He still got three timeouts. I'm like, either way it go. If I'm just going to try to punch this in, which we do on the first play. And I thought he would run commit, but he didn't. And Doggy Bone ends up quitting out right there, man. And we pick us up a nice little double Rony Tony, man. But appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this W gameplay. And I hate mad. I hate mad 23. Peace.